Hey welcome everyone. In this video we will be showing you how to connect your DVR or NVR to the internet. The indirect route of connection is easier to set up but it goes through a third party and streams slower. The direct route is a bit more complicated. Let's get started shall we? First we need to secure the DVR or NVR with a password. Now we need to check the internet connection. If the status is offline, press the auto configuration button for it to establish connection. Once the status is online, the device is ready. We need to download the compatible app for the device. We press on the add recorder button. The cloud ID can be found in the fast network section. The password is the same as we said before. The website address to connect to the camera by the indirect route will be stated at the system version or information page. Once we enter the cloud ID and the password just like in the mobile app and after clicking on login we can connect to the device through the third party. The third party may require you to download and install one of their controls. Only perform this action if it is the manufacturer of the device or a trusted source. Refresh the browser once the setup is complete. Click on connect all to begin the streaming. For the direct route, first we need to fix the local IP address of the device. We turn off DHCP in order to input the address. We also need to change the web port from the default 80 to any preferred port number. We will thereafter go to fast network page to check if the device is connected correctly to the internet. Afterwards you need to contact your ISP with regard to two settings. Does my internet connection have a static or dynamic IP address? If it is a static, then you do not need a DDNS account. If it is dynamic, then you need to create a new DDNS account. The second question, does my internet connection have a private or public IP address? If it is a private IP address, then you should make a request from your ISP to change it from private to public. After that's done, we need to create a new DDNS account. No IP is a well known provider so we will use that. If you opt in for the free account, you need to confirm your hostname every 30 days. After confirming your account from the email you receive from No IP, your hostname will be active. Now we need to link the hostname to either the router or your video recording device. We will show you both methods.
After setting up the DDNS, we need to set up the port forwarding function. The port can be checked by using an online port checker. Type in the host name of the new IP account and the port number of the recording device. If it says the port is open, that means the necessary settings are complete. When using the direct route, we do not add the cloud ID. Instead, we click on IP or domain name and enter the host name. Thereafter, the port number and the password of the device. As you can see it loads much faster than using the cloud ID. When connecting through a PC you need to type in the host name, a colon and then the port number in the address bar of the browser. If your internet connection is slow and the video lags, you can tweak the settings to reduce the frame rate and the video quality so that the video does not lag anymore. You could also play back or backup videos remotely. Remote backup will not work properly if your internet connection does not have the necessary speeds. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please support the channel by subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. See you in the next video.